What's going on guys? Welcome back to the TCG Empire YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Lugia V-Star. Lugia V-Star is now back and better than ever thanks to the Temporal Forces set. It gets a lot more inclusions, which means more attackers, which means more versatility, and even more damage. So, Lugia V-Star, 280 HP, 4 energy, Tempest Dive, 220, you can discard a stadium in play. Now most of the time this won't be your main attacker, there's other things that will suit the needs for what you need to do. 220 not really going to damage too much or one shot too much. Some of the EXs in the format yes, but the 230s are kind of hard to hit and 220 you can't use DTE for. So mainly what you use this for is summoning star. Summoning star during your turn you can put up to two colorless Pokemon that don't have a rule box from your discard pile onto your bench. This is huge. As it means that you can send out cards like Archeops. The premise of this deck, your energy acceleration, and pretty much the whole reason why the deck works. Archeops has the ability Primal Turbo. Once during your turn, you can search your deck for up to two special energy and attach them to one of your Pokemon. So what this means is that you get out two Archeops, you're searching out four special energy a turn, which means that you can power up any attacker that you want with ease, including Lugia, and it makes things a lot of fun. Now the new big card that came out of Temporal Forces is the Cincino or Cincino, depending on how you say it, but with it comes special roll, do 70 damage for each special energy card attached to this Pokemon. So that means that if you have 3 special energy attached, you're dealing 210 damage, if you have 8 special energy attached, you're dealing 560 damage, so it's incredibly strong and for only having 110 HP, and being a one prizer it has basically no damage cap or the damage cap being how many special energy you run but this is great as special roll is used for two colorless energies which means in a pinch you can attach a double turbo and hit for 50 damage as double turbo counts as two energy but because it's a single special energy card you only get to apply the 70 once and then the 20 reduction but with it one Archeops means that you can hit for 140 damage, or if you attach all four energy, you're hitting 280. And if you attach another one from hand, you're hitting 350. So in turn, Cincino can actually damage a ton of the format and actually take knockouts, one shots, take two prizes, trade two for ones all day, every day. So great card that came out of Temporal Forces, and it's definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with in the meta. We are also playing Snorlax with the Unfazed Fat ability. Prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon. This is just a good one prize attacker against things like Lost Box. As with the ability it means that you can't be Lost Mine. And Thumping Snore is good as it deals 180 damage. So it can kind of clean up those one prizers that your opponent may put on the board. And Unfazed Fat really helps in that matchup. Plus rather than needing to put a ton of energy on Cincinos and get them out and evolved. Snorlax is a basic that can be powered up in a single turn. And if it's KO'd, it's easy to replace with another one. Um, the A spec of choice that we're playing is Master Ball. It's really the only one you can play. You can also play Cape if you wanted to, just to increase the damage that your Pokemon can take, such as a Cincino, or put it on a Lugia so it can't be KO'd. But overall, Master Ball is pretty much the best one to play as it allows you to search for any Pokemon which means that you can get Archeops when you need it, discard them, or you can search out the V-Star and go from there. Now, we're also playing 3 Mist Energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it's a colorless energy, but you prevent all effects of attacks used by your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon this card is attached to. So it's Snorlax's ability, but as an energy, which means that if you put this thing on pretty much any of your board, it means that Sableye can't pick off that Pokemon. So it means that if you have two Snorlax out and you have two Archeops out that both have a Mist Energy, that's four Pokemon that your opponent can't target with something like Sableye. And as we know, Lost Mine is kind of annoying, but it also helps in a matchup like uh, Roaring Moon as it means that Mist Energy prevents your opponent from using Frenzy Gouging to take an early and easy knockout on something like Lugia. So Mist Energy is huge. We are also playing one V-Guard just so that way we can maybe deal with some math numbers. But overall, it's all about consistency, our draw support, and search support. We have Capturing Aroma, flip a coin of heads, you find a 
basic if tails you search for an evolution so it's very helpful with doing what you need to do ultra ball of course to discard some pokemon and then great ball just to help thin the deck some more of pokemon and then we have jacques the supporter which allows you to search for two evolution pokemon reveal them put them into your hand with professor burnett not being in format anymore you can't just shuffle you can't just search two archaeops to discard them so jacques actually kind of helps to Fix that issue as you can potentially search out to Archaeops and then Ultra Ball both of them away. Um, just pretty, pretty solid. And then finally, we'll talk about a quick supporter real quick. We have Serena in here. Serena is in here as a pseudo boss to where if you're playing in the V matchup, you technically have four bosses orders, but it's also in here as it does add draw support. But you're also able to discard cards from your hand, which means that you can get rid of unnecessary things like extra Archaeops or if you're using it to set up the Archaeops to start you can use it to discard archaeops from your hand to then use summoning stars so that's pretty much it um as always the deck list will be posted right here for you guys to see the full 60 of and the description will also contain the 60 card deck list that i used in today's video so if you guys want to play the deck you're more than welcome to copy and paste it into pokemon trade card game live i do want to say thank you guys for all of the love and support this week it's been great to come back and be able to upload. Now, I know that I missed Tuesday's video, but I'm four for five on uploads this week. And next week, I plan on being four for five again or five for five. But I'm just more than happy to be back. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, you could do me a favor, smash the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Let me know down in the comments if you like Lugia or if you've been testing it or some other decks I could maybe look at. But... Otherwise, thank you guys again for everything. Enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you next week. Later. Alrighty, guys. So let's get into the first game with Lugia. My opponent is going first, which could be a little bit tricky for us, depending on how our opening draws are. But looking at this, I actually don't hate this. We don't have an energy, which does make things awkward. But we do have access to Ultra Ball, which is great. I'm going to just start the heavy hitter himself, Snorlax. And we'll see what my opponent can do. So, seems like we're playing against Arctina. Um, that matchup honestly seems perfectly okay with me. I'm not worried about it at all. We have access to Lugias. We have access to Minchino and Sinchino as well. And actually, this hand looking super good. Because we have a Minchino we can put down. We have Lugia. We have Master Ball, so we can grab another Archaeops. And then we also have access to getting a Supporter off of something like Luminion with the Ultra Ball. So, not really hating our chances of having a powerful turn. Interesting. So there is the Grass Energy. Okay, so my opponent is playing Arc Gudra. But they're playing Grass Energy, so that is a little bit um tricky doesn't seem like my opponent had too strong of a start though so we'll go capturing aroma get a look at what we get we do get tails which means that we can grab a basic so we can grab the mincino here and then honestly we'll go lugia mincino now if my opponent gets the v star and has an energy they could get boss belt which means that they do potentially ko here um, but you know what? I'm going to bank on my opponent not having it. I'm just going to pass. This hand is actually really good for me to hold just for the fact that I can get rid of two Archaeops next turn. Ultra Ball for supporter. Have Sincino. Now, my opponent could get rid of my hand, which obviously could be an issue, but I took a chance with holding this hand, and I feel pretty okay about it. And the nice thing about Gudra, too, is even if my opponent uses something like Rolling Iron... Okay, so it seems like my opponent's playing um, Arc Regidrago, but with Rolling Iron, even though it does 80 less... Technically, that's just one more energy I need. So, let's see what my opponent gets here. 
They get Iono. I'll be a little bit sad. But considering the fact that we didn't really draw too much, I'm okay with that. So there's Jacques. Interesting. My opponent has Jacques, which means that they can grab two evolutions. So they could grab the lie part. I'm not sure what the lie part does. I'm sure we'll find out. Does the lie part just have trade? Oh, it does. So it's just discard and draw two. So. My opponent going for the V-Star now. Probably going to get a Reggie Drago. And then also get a... Not sure what their second card would be. Probably a card for next turn. But we're looking pretty strong. We're going to be able to use this Encino and take a knockout. And then go from there. We just have to hope that we can hit the Lugia V-Star. Now if we top decked it, that would be even more insane, but... All is well. There's the trade. Getting rid of Giratina. There's the Ultra Ball. Getting rid of Noivern. Noivern's gonna be a little bit annoying, but... Not playing special energy from the hand, I'm okay with. So, Trinity Nova hitting 180 damage. Um, technically, I could just go for the straight knockout, but I kind of need cards to play with. So, I think we're going to just kind of go for it. So, and we get the Lugia. So, that's actually fantastic. So, that means that we can go Sensino on the active Master Ball. Master Ball allows us to grab the Archeops, which means we can go Lugia, Ultra Ball away, double Archeops, grab Luminion, Luminion will give us a supporter to use, so we can go Luminion, and we can grab, um, honestly, Research I'm okay with, so we'll grab the Research. And then we can go Summoning Star now, just so that way we can avoid drawing into some energy. Get those two Archeops out. Go Archeops here. Um, we'll go with a... Um, let's see, what are the most important? Gift is definitely going to be important. Double Turbos, we don't need to reduce damage. So we'll probably just go Jet and Jet. And then... With this Archeops, we'll go Mist Energy and I guess Gift, just in case we burn our hand. So we can put these here and then we can go Research. Drawing into another Mencino as well as an Energy, so we can attach to this Mencino here. Ultra Ball, get rid of... Um, let's see, if this one gets KO'd, that takes two prizes, that takes two prizes. Technically, I need one more, so... <clears throat> um... I guess we'll get rid of the jet energy. Um, well, actually, I could attack and KO Luminion with the Lugia, so I don't hate that. So we'll go Ultra Ball, we'll get out the other Sensino. And our Wing Con's pretty much just going to be these three. So we'll go here. Not too much left, so we'll just go Special Roll. 280 damage, getting us two prize cards. And then we're going to have to see what my opponent can do from here. And thankfully, if my opponent knocks out an Archeops at any point... With having a premature energy attached, it ensures that we can get to the 280 range. So, there's the Ultra Ball. We'll see what my opponent goes for here. So, Covert Flight, not going to do too much. Could use Rolling Iron. Would make things a little bit more annoying, but definitely not terrible. We can hit out of Rolling Iron. It just means that we need to have... Um, five energy on us to hit 350 minus 80. 
be 270, so we need six energy. So there is an energy on the Radzard. Definitely a little bit scary, but it's nothing that we can't handle. There's the Apex Dragon. We'll see what my opponent does here. So 200, so they did do Rolling Iron. And we're able to draw, so we get Mist Energy, which is not the best, but definitely not the worst. Um, let's see. I could take the Knockout now on this, but I don't fully hate the idea of doing this. Okay, so we'll go Sincino and then see what we can do. No pun intended. So we get Iono, which is pretty good. So we'll go Primal Turbo. So if I get six energy, that's a total for a knockout, which is good. So yeah, that's fine. And then the 180 is still guaranteed from Lugia, even with two DTEs. So we'll go Primal Turbo a second time. And then this will allow us to grab the B-Guard and the Jet. Then we can attach for turn that'll be let's see so right now we're hitting 270 so we are short so then we can go for the mist energy um there's no real need to bench snorlax because radzard isn't going to be too much of a problem um but you know what we'll bench the snorlax anyways just to be careful and then we have access to Iono. I should still have boss in the deck. More than one. I think I'm going to hold this right now. And then see what my opponent does. But. Um, actually this gives me more chances. To see some more cards. Which I kind of need. So. We'll go Iono now. Just so that way if we take two prizes. My opponent can't Iono us. Out of um, anything else. So. We'll go special roll. 340 damage. And see, you know, putting in the work, taking two prizes, and then as long as we find a boss, we are good to go. And if we don't, we still have the ability to take a knockout on this Charizard with something like Snorlax, and then we can just finish cleaning up with Lugia. So, unless my opponent goes two prizes into two prizes, I don't think that there's too much that they can do. And we do have the Serena as well, which is a pseudo boss if we need it to be. So there's the Explorer's Guidance. So my opponent isn't going to have a boss this turn, which means that we are going to be able to freely, or I'm sorry, have an Iono this turn, which means that we can freely take out this Lumen next turn. We just need to make sure that we attack with the Lugia, as Lugia with two double turbos will be 180, which means that... We can KO the 170 HP threshold. There's another arc going down. There's a fire energy on the Radzard. There's the Combustion Blast, 250. Drawing us one card. So we'll promote the Lugia. And then we can go Archeops, Archeops Primal Turbo, and just get double DTE, 20, 40, yeah, that's fine. So we can just go 20 and 40, so that means we're hitting 180, so we can go Serena, use it as a boss, bring up the Lumineon, and Tempest Dive. Now, if this Lumineon wasn't here, we could have still attached four energy that weren't DTEs, and taking a knockout on the arc so it definitely worked out in our favor uh, the deck was consistent did exactly what it was supposed to do and we were able to take all the prizes so that was the first game let's get into a second game hopefully have the same clean setup and get some more wins Alrighty, guys so let's get into the second game with lugia seems like we might be playing against raging bolt which i'm okay with but this hand this hand is not looking too promising I'm going to need a good top deck, but off the start, I can Ultra Ball something, something, grab Archeops, and then Ultra Ball something else. 
So we're playing against Gouging Fire. Um, let's see. I don't really like this, but I kind of have to do it. So this energy is going to be gone no matter what. So we rid of Double Turbo and I guess D-Guard. Technically, I could attach Double Turbo to Snorlax, but... Um, it's not going to be the most important thing. So we'll go Ultra Ball. We'll at least grab one Archaeops. And then what we can do here is go Ultra Ball, get rid of the Archaeops, and I guess Serena. And then we can go Lugia. And then we'll hold the energy attachment just so that way we don't have to jet up the Lugia and risk it potentially being KO'd by Blaze Blitz. So was end the turn here there's one archaeops in the discard so worst comes to worst we can still set up so there's a squawkabilly my opponent probably gonna go as turbo as they can to try and hit the turn one and if they find something like prime catcher uh that'll definitely hurt but not the worst and my opponent just discarding a bunch of fire energy so they are going as ham as they can in order to benefit off of gouging fire. So there's the magma basin switch cart. So now if my opponent goes prime catcher, they are able to take a knockout, which would suck. But if they don't, then this gouging fire is now in range to be KO'd by Lugia V-Star, providing we can get one and we also can hit both Archaeops. We might be able to do it with just one, but not horrible so my opponent just passes so we get a Sencino which is a bit awkward but um it's not the end of the world I'm actually going to have Snorlax be in the active here just so that way I can attack this squawk and take a knockout and we can pull off a single um Archaeops which actually might not be horrible depending on how my energy placements go. Um, if my opponent keeps using Magma Basin, these have technically 210 left, which means a single attach plus Archaeops still takes the knockout. So um, I don't fully hate that, but what we are for sure going to do is... Um, let's see. I can collapse. I think I have to go for the one... The one Archaeops, but the nice thing is that we can get a Sencino out right now, at least, and then we can go Primal Turbo. And then, in case my opponent takes a knockout, we grab the Gift and the Therapeutic. And then we can take two prizes here off of the Squawk, and then we still have the ability to take a knockout with Lugia here. Um, it's just going to be a bit tricky because we need four energy, so... My best bet is to actually use the Sincino to crack back and take a knockout. So let's use Thumping Snore right here. 180 allows us to take two prize cards. My opponent needs Magma Basin. They didn't play a supporter last turn, so that tells me that their hand is kind of not the greatest. So they chose to just get rid of Iono. So we'll see exactly what they can do here. So there's an Earthen Vessel. And they can use Blaze Blitz. Take a knockout, which they do. So now I think I just need to streamline the Sincinos. <laughs> because we can just attach into Accelerate. And go from there. And hit the 210 range, which deals with Gouging Fire's extra HP. So uh, we'll go Capturing Aroma. Tails. Which is fine. Um... We'll grab another Encino. Bench this Capturing Roma again. And we hit heads this time, which is good. It means that we can grab the Evolution. So we can go here. 
and then we can attach gift energy accelerate two and go from there so there's the gift the primal turbo it's just gonna be awkward because we don't have a lot of energy to work with but here we can just go double mist and then we'll be able to hit 210 KOing this gouging fire and then my opponent doesn't have too much to work with on the back end so even with one Archeops, we still are able to maneuver as much as possible. We got lucky with my opponent having to rely on Magma Basin as it does add the extra 20 damage. But overall, this is how, you know, Lugia can play out if we only have one Archeops. It can definitely be scary. Like if my opponent took out Archeops last turn and we had no energy... I don't know what we would have done. I would have had to manually power up Sencino and attack with Snorlax. So Snorlax would have been able to hit 180. Um, and then a Sencino could come up and potentially use Gentle Slap to take a knockout. But I'd still have to manually attach and go from there. So there is the Lost Vacuum. there's a fire energy so my opponent just going for the concession so we won't bm we'll just go for the energy attachments and then go for the special roll 280 damage able to take the final prize card and it worked out great and the nice thing was that we fully benefited off of summoning star even though we didn't get two archaeops out we still were able to get a sencino out which meant that it was one you know less evolution we had to try and get and if we you know didn't get the other Sencino off of the capturing aromas then it would have been kind of tricky because we wouldn't have fully had an attack that turn that could have taken a KO with only having a single um Archeops out so that's pretty much it for Lugia it's still as good as ever uh, it's a lot stronger especially with being able to do 70 times the amount of special energy attached so I think that's pretty much it and sums up the deck so if you guys did enjoy today's video do me a favor smash the like button subscribe turn on post notifications let me know down in the comments what some of the decks you guys have been testing are and i will catch you in monday's video later